Mustard algae. Or yellow algae. It's rare, but it's persistent. You can scour away this microbial menace with just a few simple steps. So, let's dive in. Rachel! Quick disclaimer, when it comes to pool care, everyone has a different way of doing it. But we here at Swim University have our way of doing it based on all of my years in the pool industry and the research that we've done here as a team. The bottom line is that we all just wanna help you take care of your pool. And of course, if I missed anything in this video or you think I missed anything, feel free to leave a comment. Be happy to address it there. So let's get into it. In this video, we're gonna be talking about adding chemicals to your pool to get rid of mustard algae. And so therefore we need to talk about safety, which means chemical resistant gloves, always wear them, chemical resistant goggles, a mask and an apron. You need to get it because it's important. Safety first. Mustard algae is, is rare, but it happens generally in the Southern climates. And it doesn't really look like algae sometimes. Sometimes it can look like pollen or it can look like sand and it likes to stick to things. It comes from outside of the pool. It's not something that grows in the pool. You have to introduce it to the pool. And the real is that it is chlorine resistant. Mustard algae likes to attach itself to all different kinds of things and it can live outside of the pool. So what can it attach to? Well, your pool floats, your pool equipment, your bathing suits, yeah. Sometimes you go in the ocean with the same bathing suit and then you get into your pool, you might get yellow algae. Doesn't happen all the time, but it's possible. Okay, so let's talk about the ways that we can get rid of mustard algae or yellow algae. You know you got it. That's why you're watching this video, I, I assume, unless you're some sort of masochist and just like to listen to a guy talk about getting rid of mustard algae in a swimming pool. So getting rid of mustard algae, the first thing you wanna do, and the weirdest thing is to wash your bathing suits. I know, I know. And you wanna use a color safe bleach. The bleach just adds that little extra disinfectant to really kill any yellow algae that is living in your bathing suits. Next, we are going to clean all of your pool equipment. We're talking about floats, anything that's gonna be introduced into the pool, beach balls, floats, uh, pool equipment even, everything needs to be completely sanitized and we're going to use bleach or a bleach-based disinfectant. So I know Clorox makes a, uh, a spray that you can use like a multi-purpose spray that has Clorox bleach in it. That's really good. If you don't have that lying around, but you do have some bleach, you can mix 10 parts of water to one part of bleach. And that'll be, you can put that in a spray bottle, spray down your equipment, wipe it down, spray down your pool toys, your floats. That way, at least we've protected the pool from getting mustard algae reintroduced. Okay, now we're gonna try to get as much of the yellow or mustard algae out of the pool before we go ahead and throw a bunch of chemicals at it to kill it. So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna need a brush. Now, if you have a concrete pool, I recommend getting an algae brush, which is a metal brush. If you have a fiberglass pool or you have a vinyl liner pool, you're gonna wanna get a vinyl pool brush, something with thick, thick bristles. Like I said before, Yellow algae likes to cling and stick and dig itself into different parts of your pool. And so you're gonna need to brush that and get it into suspension. And anything that you can't get with a brush, you can even try vacuuming. But if you're gonna vacuum it, and you should vacuum it manually, you're not gonna be able to use a robotic cleaner or any sort of automatic pool cleaner because it's just gonna blow right through. You're gonna wanna use a manual vacuum. And when you do, you wanna set your filter to waste. You don't want that coming right back into your pool. You want it to exit out of your pool. If you need more information on how to vacuum a pool, there's a little card and you can watch that video. We're about to add some chemicals. So make sure you get your safety gear on. And before we add any chemicals, you always wanna test the water. Make sure at this point that your pH and your alkalinity are balanced. We're gonna be adding a lot of chlorine through sh a shocking method. And we want to make sure that your pH and alkalinity are balanced so that that shock is crazy effective. Okay, we've tested the water. You can test it with test strips. You can use a liquid test kit. You can bring it into your local pool store and have them check it. No matter which method you use, just make sure that you get your pH and alkalinity balanced. You can use pH increaser or decreaser, and you can use alkalinity increaser. And you want to do this, and you want to at least 
wait, if you're gonna add, if you need to add any chemicals to your pool to balance the water, wait about an hour, retest it, make sure you're at the right level, and then we're gonna shock the shit out of it. This is a method that I've used a bunch of times to get rid of mustard algae, and it's called the triple shock method. This is what you're gonna do. For every 10,000 gallons of water that your pool has, you're gonna add three pounds of calcium hypochlorite shock. Now the calcium hypochlorite shock that you use, the higher the percentage of calcium hypochlorite as the active ingredient, the stronger that shock is gonna be. And you wanna wait until it's dark out before you do any sort of shocking to your pool, any sort of chlorine addition, because the sun will burn off one part per million of chlorine every single hour. And if we add that in the middle of the day, you're not gonna get the highest amount of chlorine to kill that yellow algae. And so if we wait till nighttime and let that pool system, the pool filter and pump run overnight, mixing that shock in, making sure that, that you've brushed it really good so that the, nothing is clinging to the walls, it is killing the mustard algae. That is what we want. If you have any questions about shocking the pool, again, here's a card to go watch that video. Okay, at this point, we've triple shocked it. The next morning, hopefully the yellow algae is gone. Now what you wanna do, you wanna keep your chlorine high, you wanna make sure that the pool is still balanced. You added a lot of shock, so get it retested, make sure your pH and alkalinity are in balance, keep the chlorine high, keep the chlorine at around five parts per million if you can, and keep brushing where you saw that mustard algae end. At this point, it's been a couple of days, you haven't seen the mustard algae come back, you've killed mustard algae. You've gotten rid of it. Very, very good. If it comes back, you know what to do now. Now, a quick plug, if you have any more questions about taking care of your swimming pool, you can go to swimuniversity.com slash pool-care-handbook. That is our product. It's our fully illustrated handbook, or fully illustrated ebook, and video course that teaches you everything you need to know about taking care of your swimming pool, whether you're a newbie or you've been doing this a while, you've had your pool for a while, it's helpful. It's a good resource. You could just jump to it right away or you can learn a bunch of stuff about taking care of a pool. And if you're watching this video and thank you very much for watching this video, you get a discount code. If you use a discount code video, you will get 10% off at checkout. Just go to swimmingdiversity.com slash pool-care-handbook. All right, that's it. If you have any questions or you think I missed anything in this episode or this video, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to address it. And also, if you want more information on taking care of your swimming pool or hot tub, you can go to swimuniversity.com. Thank you so much for watching. That's it. Happy swimming.